With spring upon us, we wanted to share our top five tools for cooling season. The first tool we want to look at is the Yellow Jacket Real Torque Core Removal Tool. Most of us know that evac times can greatly rely on hose sizes, but if you're in a time crunch, removing the Schrader core valve can significantly lessen the time it takes to recover, evacuate, and recharge a system. The side port can act as a vacuum valve when you attach a micron gauge. This is useful when you want to isolate from the pump, hoses, and manifold. Next up in recovery and evacuation, we have the Navac Cordless 2 CFM Vacuum Pump. Small but mighty, with the right hoses and setup, this machine can pull down some large systems. It's super lightweight and easy to carry, and no more worrying about finding an outlet for your pump. Number three is just a great product overall, the Klein J2158CR Hybrid Pliers. These forged steel pliers can strip, cut, twist, shear, pull, and crimp all with one tool. Who doesn't like to save time and lessen their tool count? If you install a lot of mini split systems, you might have already guessed what our next product is. It's the Yellow Jacket Digital Adjustable Torque Wrench. This wrench is perfect when you're installing a mini split and the lines need to be tightened to a specific value. For convenience, the torque wrench has nine common preset torque values, which display on the digital screen as the flare nut is being tightened. It features a buzzer and LED indicator to make it easy to verify when you've reached the desired value. Finally, there's the Yellow Jacket 49963 Titan 4 Valve Manifold. The aluminum alloy construction for this lightweight gauge makes it easy to handle, durable, and reliable. The sight glass window makes it easy to view refrigerant movements and conditions during charging and recovery. The manifold and hose holder fittings are 3 1 4 inch and a 3 8 port. This wraps up our top 5 tools for AC season. For more information or to order, visit jacksonsystems.com. And as always, thanks for watching.